What's going on guys? We are getting ready to do a driver's education lesson. We're in the gas station. Gas stations are very dangerous places, so we gotta be really careful. We gotta look around. Trying to stay in the middle of left and right. People run out, people getting gas. It's a beautiful morning, so some people have been driving all night and they're tired. Other people are tired because they don't go to bed at night and they stay up. We need to get in the middle turn lane. So a lot of beginners confuse the left and right lane. So we're gonna go up and stop. This is the stop line. Now I'm looking left and right. I have to tell you a story, had a young lady have a panic attack here. It took her about five minutes to make this left turn. So when you're teaching someone, you gotta really be supportive. You gotta take your time and you gotta really make sure they understand. So it's clear, I'm gonna go ahead and turn. Now I gotta get in the center turn lane. This lane is for left turns only. This is a protected left turn. They have these all around the world. So a red means you cannot move. Got a blinking yellow and move forward. In the middle of the intersection, don't go under the light. A lot of beginners go under the light, they can't see it. Some beginners overturn and they go in the do not enter the wrong way. Some beginners turn wide and they go into the ditch. I've had both type of students do this. So I'm just waiting. Don't get too excited here, just be patient. Okay, cars have stopped. Now this car just broke the law. They blew through the yield because they're in a hurry and don't care. You gotta be careful when you're driving in this type of environment. And this is a clover leaf, so I'm really holding the steering wheel, trying to keep it under control. Clover leaves are hard to get on, hard to get off. This will be on your knowledge test. I'm gonna accelerate up. This, sorry, the turbo boost is set at four pounds. So we're gonna have to get a better tune in here. Speaking of slow boost, the car does not accelerate fast, so this is a good teaching tip. You can hear it is still not shifting. Now it's shifted. Now we got to talk to our technical person to make sure we flash the updated tune in here. But the car didn't shift properly and we didn't have enough speed to merge out effectively. So what I need you guys to do is get into that first lane. Kind of settle down now. Either, whoa, I'm going to get over and then lean to the left. You saw how they kind of cut me off. No consideration. So I'm going to stay away from them. I'm not even going to look at them. It makes you angry, but I'm not even going to acknowledge them. So when you have situations like this, you want to try to stay in an open lane. An open lane is space in front of you. I'm trying to scan. See me checking mirrors. Being smooth, being deliberate. It's a beautiful Tesla right there. I actually drove one, one of my clients had one, and I do have some content on Teslas, electric cars, AI driving, so if you like that type of stuff, you just have to look through and find it. Also, I do plan, if things work out right, getting a grant from the government to get an EV, that would be the ultimate, a Tesla, a mach -E, and then I will be able to do content and have one of the safest vehicles in the world. I'm gonna make a lane change. See me looking over my shoulder and accelerate through the lane change. We're going downhill, so I'm lifting my foot because I don't want to over accelerate. Then I'm gonna get over one lane to the left, to the right, excuse me, happened to me too. Okay, so we're moving pretty good. You have a choice. Beginners, I like to see them stay in the right lane. And then, but this will help you for a medium to advance. So I'm gonna get over one lane, I'm lifting my foot because I don't wanna lose my room and hit this wagon here. I think that has the new hurricane. Oh, that's expedition. Okay. So I'm in my lane, I'm trying to settle down. It's 
talk about these lines. We have a yellow line. This is the edge line to the left. But a warning line to the left, I should say. The edge line is white. That is to the right. We're driving in North America. So the pavement mark is adjusted as such. I have um, viewers who are in the UK. I have viewers in Australia, UAE. I love you all very much and I'm so blessed. But all these concepts can apply to driving. You want to feel comfortable. You want to have control. And you just take your time. The reality is most people are waiting until their mid or late 20s, which is fine. I'm lifting my foot a little bit because the flow or the pack is slowing down. So I'm just trying to take my time. Looks like that truck has the bed of the vehicle missing. Maybe they had to work on the fuel tank or fuel system. One thousand one, one thousand two. We're about three seconds away from this vehicle. That's the minimum following distance that will help you in your knowledge test. It's Tuesday morning. I put out another video where we were talking about road signs, guide signs. Morning signs, the green and white sign, God sign. We're going to be getting into some warning signs very soon. These are Chevron alignment signs, and they tell us this is a very sharp curve going to the right. They're on the opposite side. If they're on the left, then if they're on the left, we're going to the right. If they're on the right, we're going to the left. We don't want to hang around this trucker. There are four blind spots. Left side, right side, front, and back. Trying to keep good space. The pace is moving pretty good, so I just want to back off. We're in no hurry. We have our petrol. We got our coffee in the morning. And you see me holding on. Let's speak about this. Uh, the centrifugal force is pulling me to the right or straight off the road. So I'm trying to lift my foot, but a lot of beginners will go 10 to 15 under the limit, and then they're going to hold up traffic. So we don't want to do that. We want to stay with the flow. We do not want to create an obstruction. I'm trying to be as smooth as possible and just take my time. I'm check I always check mirrors, not just because I'm making a video for beginning drivers. But I'm trying to keep good speed and good space. And we're heading out of the country. So you're going to have a lot more trucks, a lot more cars. And I'm just before rush hour. So you have to have a plan. If you enjoyed this, follow, subscribe, give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate all of you. Bye.